What's up viewers, this is Ingle Hacks and in today's video a tutorial about of a Discord bot called Not Quite Nitro aka NQN. So what is NQN you might ask? Well it's a bot that provides emoji based and reaction based uh, services which are usually available only to people who have purchased Nitro or gotten it as a gift. But this bot uh, will give it to you for free. Of course you can buy their premium products but you're not required to because you'll get everything you need for free anyways. And in today's video I'm going to show you how to use this bot, how to react to messages with it, how to get emojis, how to, you know, really how to work with it. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's just jump into it. But before, if this video is helpful, subscribe to my channel, please like the video and tap that bell icon and turn on all the notifications to get, uh, not miss out on all my latest uploads. With that said, let's get into this. I have already created uh, a tutorial server and added not, not quite Nitro there. They have a pretty good website, actually a very good website, where you can find all the links and uh, guides and, and, and videos, well not videos, but like GIF based guides and everything. Um, link to support server and a lot of information about the bot. So I'll leave that in the description below. And I have write, wrote my own, I wrote my own guide today on my own server, which I also will link, link in the description below. So check that out. But that's it, let's start the tutorial. So, uh, first, how do you uh, get individual emojis with not quite nitro? Well, that's fairly easily doable. The first thing you want to do is uh, do an exclamation mark and type alias alias uh, search and then the keyword like I don't know YouTube uh, anything you want let's say let's say Steam and hit and then send the message. As you can see here, from now, from this moment, you're gonna have to work with the, oops, my bad. Work with buttons here, as you can see. Oh, again. So these green buttons and the blue ones too, of course. The blue buttons at the bottom are like uh, toggles. So you can toggle between, flip between pages. But we're going to use this page for this tutorial, this part of the tutorial. So as you can see there are quite a few, well there are a few emojis of Steam logo. And I'm going to choose this one. Now I tap on it and... And this is the message I get. Uh, and in addition, as you can see, oh, okay, got it. Got it. As, as you can see, NQN has messaged me privately. If I open the message, which I will, uh, NQN has messaged me this. Oops. has messaged me this. Uh, the emoji itself and of course uh, how to use it. That I have to type its name or the alias in this case. And this is how you can collect emojis in your PMs and, and check the names of them if you want. Next up how you can uh, get groups of emojis. Uh, otherwise known as emoji packs. That is also easy to do. Run the, run the command uh, pack 
search and uh, insert keyword here, anything you want. For example, um, YouTube, 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 and search. This will give the screen. Set it down a little bit. Oh, come on. It will show you this screen with a bunch of emojis. Now, if you press this blue button, this arrow, you'll be able to flip between the page as you can see. You can, uh, if you tap join the pack, you'll be able to use the pack by typing the names of the emojis. You'll probably get a big ass PM with all these names of all these emojis. There are like 50 or 100 there. I don't know. I'm not gonna count, but I do like this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap join back. And from here on out, as you can see, it shows all these names. Join. The animated and of course like animated and the regular ones and there are two buttons down here you can uh, add to everyone and DM will get a DM if you want this uh, these emojis for your own use you can just tap the DM me and you'll get this message this exact message probably and if you want for your server, then just tap add to at everyone. Now that done, if you scroll up a little bit, you'll see that there is a name MC on top of the emoji emojis. Now we're going to be using those. So, now. Uh, like tip number three, tutorial number three, how to save emojis on your server. Well, that's easy. Type uh, exclamation mark pack save and uh, insert the name of the pack, which is MC. And then hit enter to send the message. As you can see, it give you, gives you this list of emojis that, that you can save. And with the blue buttons, arrow buttons, you can flip between the emojis. But since I'm... You can actually save individual emojis here as well, if you want. For example, I can save this check pins emoji. And as you can see, it's an uh, uh, animated. And I hit yes if I want to upload the static version as well. Now, that's how you uh, upload individual emojis. But if you do the same thing like this pack, save MC, like that. Nope. MC. Hit enter. You can also save the whole pack on your server. What you want to do is uh, press the save all button. Press save all and then it'll show you next screen. As you can see all these emojis. I don't know how many there are but probably over, over 100 maybe. Over 100. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but it, it it's a lot. So just hit yes to confirm it. And then it says process processing. And after a while, it will show you that it uploads. It uploads emojis. Has uploaded emojis.
cancelled. What the fuck? That makes no sense. Yeah, these errors can actually happen. They happened to me the first time I tried to use this this whole thing. So, but you can check out whether you have the emojis or not by going to tapping on or clicking on the server name, then heading down to server settings, and then selecting emoji. Oh, yep. I have one slot available in the emojis as you can see uh, on top, on top right here. It says one slot available right here. Now, if I scroll through this, oh, that's even Facebook. Nice. And I can, I have forty nine slots available for uh, emo animated emojis, which is pretty cool. So most of these are non-animated emojis. Now the next step, tutorial, tutorial number four, how to add reactions to messages with not quite NitroBot. Now that we can do from the application because we won't need uh, the website anymore for now. So let's head over to the app. All right, I'm gonna quickly just pin this message because uh, since I have opted in to use these emojis, it would be stupid if I didn't, <laughs> you know. Pin. All right. Let's pin it. Now, for example, if I now type an example message saying hello, oops, hello, uh, N Q N. Now I have sent this message as you can see. The next thing you want to do is uh, copy the ID of the message, which you can do by right clicking if you're on a computer or laptop or, oh well, yeah laptop or desktop. You can right click on the message and then select copy ID which will be at the bottom of the message uh, of the uh, selection menu. And I think for the new Discord uh, message copy link somewhere on the top of the list but for me it's on the bottom as you, have, as you can see here. Or actually no, oh yeah, it's at the bottom. Right here is the copy ID option and here is the link option. So copy ID. Now for the reactions you can use either message ID or message link. Both ways it will work. And you can uh, react to most recent messages up to 20. Uh, like if uh, someone sends 20, 20 messages you can react to all of those 20 but not ones after that. Like before that, it's limit, limited to that, which is annoying probably, of course, but not that annoying really. But it could be a bother to some. So what you want to do is, uh, type exclamation mark, react, react, then insert the message ID, um, like that. And then you want to insert any emoji that you want to use for this reaction. Let's say the freak. Sorry about that. 
something went wrong with the Discord. Oh, what? Okay. Um, next, you want to insert the name of the emoji, which in my case is um, pin, pin, color, pin, color. Oh. Don't forget to run the emoji name with these columns, columns, whatever they're called. You must use those um, at the beginning and at the end of the uh, name. Otherwise, it won't work, probably. Unless you copy the uh, emoji ID, which is kind of difficult to do on mobile devices. It's easier on uh, desktop and laptop to do it. But yeah, this is your finished command. Oops. I opened up my keyboard emoji panel. Now you can just send it. It will delete the message and as you can see a reaction appeared under my message with a glitchy colorful pin. So that's how you react. Wait, what? That's weird. As you just witnessed, the pin disappeared. But this has never happened before. I've used this uh, command a couple of times before the recording and this has never been a problem. So I will contact support about this and see what they say about it. So... Uh, that's about it for this video now. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you in your journey on discord Stay tuned for more bot tutorials because I have a lot of them coming up soon. So Turn on all the notifications for my channel and you'll be notified each time I upload these tutorials or any video for that matter So thanks for watching and Have a good day stay safe and see you in the next one. Peace out.